10 feet away. Good, steady approach. Six feet separating Atlantis from the International Space Station, standing by for contact and capture. Contact, docking confirmed. Capture confirmed at 10.07 a.m. Central Time. Houston, the station Atlantis, capture confirmed and we see free drift. Station Atlantis, Houston, station free drift is confirmed. Pilot Doug Hurley confirms the arrival of Atlantis. The station now in free drift. The two docking mechanisms will have an opportunity to dampen out. Atlantis arriving. Welcome to the International Space Station for the last time. That's great to be here, station. We'll see you shortly. Flight engineer Ron Garin greeting Commander Chris Ferguson and his crew. Position two is just a bit flip. Do you agree? Yeah, Lannis, uh, we do concur. You go for step three. Okay, here comes step three. Atlantis, which began the era of international cooperation in space with the first shuttle docking to the Mir space station, comes full circle. The space shuttle has arrived at the International Space Station for the final time. Docking again occurring at 10.07 a.m. Central Time as Atlantis and the International Space Station flew 240 statute miles over the Pacific Ocean east of Christchurch, New Zealand. Houston, we think we're ready for step four. Stand by, still watching. Now waiting uh, for the relative motion of the two docking mechanisms to dampen out against one another. From the forces of contact and capture, that will initiate uh, hooks and latches and the ultimate retraction of the uh, docking mechanism to form a hard mate between Atlantis and the International Space.